My father was an amateur builder, built all our houses. And I would sit in the meetings as a kid and contribute. And I loved that feeling of being part of a team where I was, you know, my opinion was taken seriously. I loved that. Contributing in that way as a kid to the making of our own homes made me want to do the same for other people. I was born in New York City on the Upper West Side. We always look for context. Context in architecture, context in history. So the context for Van Water is in the history of the land and very importantly, the history of Columbia University. It had a lot to do with the references of what the Upper West Side projects as an architectural experience. You have uh, ivy growing on the walls, you have this beautiful brick work on the facade, you have the cathedrals that have this neo-Gothic influence. So did we reproduce that exactly? Absolutely not. You know, ended up being a modern reinterpretation of all this. But it definitely feels like it belongs to the place, no doubt about it. And, and I think everybody in the team was really passionate about this. So I was born and raised in Colorado, and what I'm interested by is providing the calm, the quiet, the ability to unwind in nature that I had growing up. It's rare to find such a walkable part of the city a lot of the materials used have been locally sourced. So bringing that upstate character into the garden gives it a nice contextual feel of the Morningside Heights area. Architects talk about scale a lot, things that can both relate to the human scale at the detail level, and then a different scale that relates to the skyline. And as we look at Vanderwater, what we hope to do is balance both this uh, kind of domestic feel, a residential feel, with this uh, relatively monumental and heroic structure. We're in the business of making home. <laughs>